so this is, in my opinion, this is how they hide the distances, right? They interpolate the error through the, throughout all the measurements by doing repeated curvatures of the plumb line. So the Glovers say, oh, if you project a globe onto a flat surface, it'll be distorted. Well, yeah, we know that. And the reason why it's not distorted is because they're not doing a projection. A projection is just a ray. That like a, so like an um, AE projection is a ray that passes through the North Pole onto a plane that goes through the equator, right? So you take a point that's on the surface and you project it onto a point that's a plane that, pass, that slices the equator in half. But they're not doing that. They're not taking a straight line. They're using a curved line, right? So it's a mapping. It's not an actual projection. And the Globers just don't, they just don't understand this, that they're not actually doing projections. They're doing mappings, mapping functions, the same way in 3D graphics, right? You make a wireframe. And that wireframe, right, you make a skin for it, a texture. But you have to wrap that texture around this, this a bunch of triangles. That's a wireframe 3D model. Like, how do you do that, right? So you basically make your little image, right? And you draw it in such a way that when you wrap it around this, right, it maps to the surface. So it looks like, you know, um, you know, some guy in freaking um, Call of Duty, right? But if you, you can, if, if you had access to that part, right, you could remove the skin, you could remove the texture, and you would just see a bunch of triangle wireframes. They're basically doing the same thing. The surface of the earth is the texture, and they're matching it to, mapping it to a wireframe reference ellipsoid. But they're not doing a projection the projection thing that's just like that's an after the fact thing so they take the celestial sphere right they take the surface of the earth they project that onto another surface right so you got three surfaces now you got the celestial sphere surface the inner surface of that you got surface of the earth then they take so it starts off as a projection the astrogeodetic then it goes to the geodetic that gets projected onto a reference ellipsoid right but that's not projected that's mapped right so they go from projection to mapping right so because if they just did projection to projection you'd be able to tell that it's not a globe because all the distances would be distorted but if you do a whole bunch of measurements and just have a little bit of error in between each measurement point then you can't tell that there's an error in the distances and that's just what kind of like what chris Lomatra talks about if you actually go to like a, a particular location like Australia, Australia has their own custom datum because none of their mappings, right? None of their celestial sphere. And this is also where they have the greatest deflection of the vertical and curved plumb lines as great as like 0.71 degrees, right? So that's greater than the diameter, that's the angular diameter of the sun, right? This is a huge deflection, right? And, and what I mean by deflection is imagine I set up my surveying equipment and I can look directly at Zenith and there's supposed to be a star there directly at Zenith, directly above my equipment. But I look and the star is not there. It's somewhere else. But I look at the freaking, you know, the ephemeris data and I go, well, that star is supposed to be directly over my head. Gravity must be tilting my level, right? Because I leveled the instrument. When I leveled the instrument, it's perpendicular to the surface of the earth. There should be a star directly overhead. It's not there. It's somewhere else. It's off at an angle, right? And in Australia, like I said, it's like as great as 0 0.71 degrees, right? So when I align it to that star that's supposed to be there, now I have a tilted, I have a tilted vertical, and now I have a tilted horizontal. How do I correct that? I have to correct it by curbing the plumb line, right? So there's a bunch of these little band-aids and tricks and surveying that are like they exist because they can't actually measure a globe, right? If they could measure a globe, they wouldn't need a reference ellipsoid. And this is, this is like my gotcha for Globers. I just ask them, if you're measuring a globe, what's the reference ellipsoid for? Why does that even exist? Because you wouldn't need it. You right? wouldn't need it. A globe, we don't need a reference. Yeah, right. It shouldn't even exist.